meat pie, meat pie, meat pie. In the early 2000s, when people heard or saw a meat pie, there was only one name that came to mind, and that name was Mr. Biggs. So, what happened to Mr. Biggs? How did a brand so big and famous fall off and become irrelevant like it is today? Well, this video is about the rise and fall of Mr. Biggs. My name is Bulola Didi and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you very much for sticking with me. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you, you're welcome. And um, kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and like this video so more people will get to see my video and you know, we grow this community. Mr. Beast has actually been around for a while, since the 1960s actually. They started as a coffee shop in Kingsway department store in the 1960s. For those of you that don't know Kingsway like me, I didn't actually know Kingsway until I actually researched Mr. Biggs. It was this really big supermarket that was in Nigeria then. It's like, uh, yeah, this, the shop rights that we have today and all that. But then it was Kingsway. Kingsway was the was the big brand, the big um, retail brand that we had, the big supermarket that we had there. And Mr. Big was just a coffee shop in those Kingsway department stores. In 1973, this Kingsway department, this the coffee shops in the Kingsway department stores rebranded and called themselves Kingsway Rendezvous. And with time, gradually they transformed into what we know as Mr. Biggs today in 1986. Mr. Biggs is owned by um, USC Foods, which uh, is owned by USC Foods, which stands for United Africa Company of Nigeria. They are like a big food brand that own Mr. Biggs and many other companies in Nigeria, also food companies in Nigeria. So when like they became a proper brand in 1986, they franchised early. They adopted the old franchise and um, business business model early and this led to a rapid expansion of the com of the com um, of the business across the country over a hundred locations very fast in nigeria and this made it outshine its competitors it made it dominate the quick service restaurant brand mr biggs being the first quick service restaurant brand in nigeria and coupled with its um, you know rapid expansion due to its franchise business model and you know the great delicious food it was selling them this like made it quickly become nigeria's number one sweet art brand like for food the first sign of trouble in mr biggs was when the quality of his products began to decline as his franchises grew rapidly like as it expanded rapidly as it got new owners a customer it's the quality of his product began to decline customers began to complain about how bad the food had become the food wasn't tasting as delicious as it used to taste no more. And for some reason, Mr. Big's management ignored all these complaints. They felt they were doing good enough and they needed to improve their services. And this gave room for other competitions to rise. You can share your personal experiences with Mr. Big's in the comment section below, both good and bad experiences. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Bulola Didi. Until next time, see you.